Last time on KJ Noon's Uncaged, a fighter ready to reclaim a championship. A fiance ready to take his vows. A brother ready to show his best friend and trainer that all their hard work together has paid off. On June 18th, KJ Noons will enter the cage for a duel that carries the chance to win back the belt of his weight class and the fight of his entire career. Today, he must do whatever it takes to win that chance. This is KJ Noons Uncaged. In most cases, a fighter identifies himself with somewhere he calls his home gym. In the case of 28-year-old KJ Noons, home is wherever the fighting is. And the fight can wear thin in one home. Oh, noon! That right there was hard work. The thing about KJ is that he's able to keep a pace that even when he's tired, he can keep his punch count up, you know, which many guys can't do uh, in MMA. And that's uh, from all those years of boxing. And you know, he started doing this shit when he was five years old, so it's kind of like one of those things. It's, it's like walking for him, you know. His punching power for 155 is a 205 punching power, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, and I've never been hit so clearly and so hard by another man before. Like we were going at it, and I'm a southpaw. So I threw a punch and he countered it and broke my nose, which um, I'm still working on getting over from everybody in the gym. I got a 155 pound dude breaking the nose of a 240 pound heavyweight. Less than two weeks away, a cage door will be shut leaving KJ inside with his slated opponent. Every day until then is practice, and the sparring is good in sunny Los Angeles. At Fortune Gym on Sunset Boulevard, KJ crosses paths with an old friend and gym owner, Justin Fortune. Every fight is not only another chance, but another requirement for a fighter to prove himself all over again. These punches and combinations. We go to a bunch of gyms because a lot of times guys train at the same gym all the time with the same people and you know the same same atmosphere, so you get comfortable. So you know what we like to do is we like to go. Uh, take ourselves out of the comfortable and go to the uncomfortable, so it's kind of like game time. And before every fight, everybody is full of advice. Solid, 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 solid. Focus, relax, power. Focus, relax, power. Super important. Don't miss that. Don't underestimate somebody that you don't know. Part of that advice is dietary. It's all about this vegan food. Vegan food. Lose weight food, right? Healthy. You know how to lose weight? This right here, son, this little baby spoon. <laughs> baby spoon. You can't get a big butt eating this. <laughs> Over Hollywood health food for lunch, KJ and his trainer Kimo observed the bare knuckle brawl on YouTube that introduced upcoming opponent George Masvidal to the world. I don't even know if this is real because I don't see any pit bulls in the background. <laughs> While the relationship between battling opponents is destined to draw blood, words like respect and even friendship 
can also be an end result. He started in the street, and you know what I'm saying, he, he bettered himself, and uh, I got respect for him. He bettered himself and became a better fighter, and now he's the number one contender. But hey, he's got heart for fighting bare fists like that. I give him credit for that. He's good. This guy I'm gonna fight is good. He's good all around. You can't just concentrate on one area. You gotta be good at all the areas. Were you able to see any flaws in his game plan? <clears throat> Well, I wouldn't take too much from that. You know, I'm studying sanctioned, you know, glove fights. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of cool to see that, but. I'll <laughs> never tell. <laughs> you know, he tried to highlight himself by doing, you know, some backyard fights, you know, bare knuckle, but so what? We've all had bare knuckle fights. We've all fought in the club. We've all fought for lunch money. No big deal. For in the end, the battle is just business. I just want to be the best I can be in whatever I do, whether it's racing you down these stairs or beating up in boxing. I want to win. A place where everyone wants to be famous. Even the man serving your vegan burger here in Tinseltown will likely be glad to demonstrate some hidden talent. You rap stage, little you rap, again. Little, yeah, uh, let, sushi dro thing. drop a short piece of poetry. Let me, <laughs> let me hear a short piece of poetry. When I'm stressing, it's the best time to write. With a weapon, it's the best time to fight. I right, now you know about me. No slow, I'm outie, but I gotta be rowdy when I gotta be. That's how it is. All about respect, but I handle my biz. When the young kids, they don't wanna be me. Thugged out running on Crime Stop or TV. When mom stopped to see me, they start impersonating, put their hands behind their back, hating to see a person kicking. Right, right. I don't know. Yeah, no, that's what I'm talking about, huh? Yeah. So, so in the poetry scene, they do this. That's deep, son. That's deep. That's deep, son. For those whose talents have been exposed by now, paparazzi are just part of being outside. Yo, what's up, man? What's going on? Chilling, chilling, huh? How you doing? Hey, you look too pretty to be in the fight in the UFC, man. Aren't you afraid you get a scar up your face or something? Aren't you afraid of getting beat up? No, no, man. Just here in LA working out. It's cool, man. It's uh, expected, you know, in LA. The TMZ, you know, they're all over the place. So uh, I guess this MMA thing is growing pretty big. And people are starting to realize that, hey, you know, that MMA is recognized as a top sport. That's what I got? That's what I got? That's what I got? That's what I got? You don't know what it's like. You don't know what it's like. <laughs> How does that feel? How does that feel? <laughs> cool. Really cool. After a long day in the heart of a busy city, KJ and Kimo relocate to a more peaceful part of LA. As peaceful would be the last word used to define training. Just got through with some really good sparring down in LA and we're driving back. We didn't get no cardio in today, so uh, we stopped off at Manhattan Beach. And we're at the beach, it's a little windy today, but we're gonna get some cardio in. We're gonna mix it up with this uh, elevation uh, training mask right here. Uh, it simulates you know, high altitude training and uh, definitely uh, exercises your lungs, make, you, make your lungs work harder for when you're training. And uh, it's interesting, man. It kind of looks like out of a movie or something. When I put it on, it kind of scares people, but uh, it's definitely worth it. Gets that wind up there, gets a the cardio factor up there, and uh, helps you out for the training. Some of the hard sparring. There's always work. There's always work. We don't take anybody for granted, and we always work hard. And as the darkness approaches, a storm brewing as bitter coastal winds hurl sand into their faces, fighter and trainer now ignore their surroundings as one must ignore doubts and fears once the fight has begun. I'm gonna bring my best, I'm gonna train hard and put on a good show and I wanna have my hand raised at the end of the fight. For the one thing that travels through every new venture, every sparring partner, every exercise, and every drill imaginable is the one goal of victory that every day offers less and less time to be earned. This is KJ Noons, Uncaged. This has been a Ubiquity Broadcasting Corporation production, all rights reserved.